We're underneath the hood of our 1968 Z28 Camaro, the real deal. A real MO motor, a real Z28 1968 car. Very rare. Lots of 69 Z28s out, very, very few 7s and 8s. This car is a good representation of that. Probably one of the nicest done cars I've ever seen in my life, ever. This thing does have the correct MO motor that these things were released with, the correct double hump heads, winter snowflake intake. Uh, manifold, aluminum of course, the downswept, the header type uh, cast iron exhaust manifolds that these came with, the correct uh, chrome plated for 68 valve pan covers, they were aluminum for 69, not for 68. It does have the optional cowl induction type air cleaner. Cowl induction hoods were not available in 68, didn't start that till 69. This one houses the original smog pump on it with the original deep groove uh, pulley that it came with, also the deep groove larger pulley because of the RPMs these cars turned for the uh, alternator and the deep groove pulleys uh, for the uh, fan and the uh, vibration damper to keep the belts from flying out because these motors were normally run 6,500, 7,000 RPMs. Does have a solid lifter cam in it, pretty stiff cam the way they came from the factory. Every hose, every fitting, everything underneath this has a GM moniker on it. It shows as it was original from the factory. This particular car has power steering and power brakes, just in the front of course, it's the only way they came. Does have its original vacuum canister for the uh, peekaboo headlights on it. It is an RS car, which was an option on these cars. There weren't that many options available on a Z28. But the RS package was one of them, as was that uh, cowl induction air cleaner system. Does have the high capacity radiator that they came with. Everything, and I mean everything, under this engine compartment, under this hood, is as it left the factory in 1968. The correct plumbing for the uh, smog pump, your tubes, absolutely everything the way it would have been bought in 1968. You'll not find a straighter, nicer, more original engine compartment than which we're looking at right now. Even the gooseneck is the correct one. Impossible to find with the uh, swirl around gooseneck. That's even correct. The heavy duty alternator braces, two of them. Uh, everything on this car, every, the more you look, the more you find. It's just, uh, it's just as an original a 68 engine compartment as you'll ever find. Z28 Camaro. Let's see what's on the car. Hi, you're at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. And on the floor today is a very, very special guest here at our showroom. 1968 Z28 Camaro. Correct numbers, correct MO motor, correct 12 bolt rear, correct four speed transmission. This car is correct from beginning to end. Every little tiny thing under the engine, under the hood in the engine compartment has been uh, addressed on it. It's just as it left the factory in 1968, and we have it here at Hangsters. Let's go over it and see if we can find any uh, defects or malfunctions in it. Paint on this car is Corvette Bronze, which was a special order color to begin with. Very few of these cars had this paint scheme, and it's absolutely stunning with the black Z28 stripes on it. The paint is just a foot deep. It, it, it's one of the prettiest paint jobs. There's no fogging in it. There's no uh, paint uh, splatter or overlay so that there's uh, uh, any kind of milkiness or anything in the finish. It's just as nice as you could ever hope to find uh, a paint job on a car. The uh, fitment from the uh, fenders to the hood to the cowl area you can see is just flawless. It's just absolutely flawless, both sides. The fenders, the Camaro designation in the front, uh, no marks or pits on that. The uh, header panel, the same way. It's just no marks. The peekaboo headlights, the grill, nothing missing. R RS designation on the uh, center of the grill. All the aluminum trim around the grill area. And these headlights do function too, by the way. Does have optional uh, the bumper guards in the front. Chrome on the bumper is just as nice as you'd ever expect it to be. Front uh, Valance, uh, the pan in the front, uh, you can't see it, it's hanging down there, but, but it is absolutely flawless. 
no marks or, or chips or, or, or anything on the uh, plastic spoiler in the front. It's just the way it was uh, when it was new. The front of this car is just absolutely, and I don't use the word perfect very often, but this is near imperfection on this one. This thing is just over the top nice. It's as nice as you'll ever find a car. Let's see what's on the side. Okay, driver's side of our real Z28 1968 Camaro, and you see the Z28 designation on the front because that's what this guy is. Side marker lamp is gorgeous. Fender lips, not a single mark anywhere. Rocker panel trim lines up absolutely beautiful. Fender to door is precision as you could hope to find. Absolutely gorgeous. Rally Sport designation, the original equipment style, Goodyear, Polyglass GT, white letter tires, on the correct style 15 inch rally wheels that would have come on this vehicle with the correct type hats on them for 1968. This car is as correct as you'll ever, ever find one. It's a high option car too, we'll show you a few in, the, in a moment here. It does have the correct arms and blades for the windshield wipers, trim around the front window, as with everything in this car that you'll see, it is just as flawless as you could ever find. Correct arms and blades, like I said, the uh, dashboard, there's no fogginess or milkiness or anything around. Even the base where the, the uh, dashboard transitions into the uh, <coughs> windshield uh, mount area, there's absolutely nothing. Tinted windshield in this car also, which would also be an option. Vinyl top, which is also an option on this car. There's no... No pits underneath the vinyl. Uh, there's no places where it's beginning to come loose. It's just absolutely as nice as you'd ever hope to find. The uh, wipes, whiskers are new, and they fit absolutely flawlessly. Even the rubber lip that goes up and, and overlaps the paint, I can't even get my finger underneath it. Drip rail, not a single mark. Fresh rubbers on the side windows here. No marks or, or uh, any uh, defects at all whatsoever in the uh, chrome trim on them. Door handles as new. Does have a driver and passenger mirror. Passenger mirror being an option. This would have been a standard one. Door. This is amazing. Talk about a precision piece of equipment. There's not even an overlap on the top of this door. Someone has spent hours of diligence trying to make this car as near perfection as they could. These cars just did not come this, uh, this way from the factory. This fit and finish was never like this in 1968, ever. Again, wheel lip molding on the rear. Same as the front, no marks. Rear tinted glass also, molding around the glass, and I can't even get my fingernail between the molding and the uh, vinyl top, that's how tight and precise everything fits. Rear defroster, another option, has a correct type speaker, uh, grills in the back, which would be an option also, rear seat speakers. This quarter panel fitment to the door, to the front fender, to the rocker panels. The fit to finish everything on this car. This is one of the nicest cars that we have in the building. Just hands down, no question. This is an over-the-top vehicle. There's not a single thing to report on the driver's side, and I have a feeling we're not going to find much else any, anywhere else on this vehicle, but we'll go over it anyway. Okay, around the uh, back end of our 68 uh, Z28 Camaro, you can see the fitment of the rear deck is the same as the hood. The gaps are absolutely, positively as near perfection as you could possibly get. The paint the same way. This car has been cleared over. There's, there's absolutely no defects in the paint. It's an absolute show quality piece of equipment. Trim around the uh, rear tail lights. You'll notice there's no uh, backup lights here. They're down underneath the bumper. That's the way they came with the RS package. They weren't available up here. Uh, the glass in the uh, plastic in the uh, tail lights just as sweet as can be. RS gas cap that would be correct for an RS car. 
basil around this one the same way. There's not a single pit. Usually they have a few pits along the bottom here, no matter how new they are. This one has absolutely none, either side. Bumper fitment. Again, get the micrometer out because <laughs> somebody spent a lot of time, guys, a lot of time. Rear bumper guards, bumperettes in the back to complement the ones in the front. Again, the rear volants, no marks or anything on it. Nice crystal clear backup lenses in the back of it. There's not a single thing out of place so far. We only have one side left, so let's see if we can find something on that. Okay, passenger side of our Z28, 1968. Again, side marker light, just as sweet as could be. Every piece of tin on this car is, has sharp edges on it. There's nothing been uh, ever ripped or torn or, or puttied in any way or, or any, any, any way disrupted. Everything is as was when it left the factory in 68. Again, trim around the back window. Again, I... <laughs> When somebody was putting this piece of trim on, they must have hit it with their hand. Can't really, you can hardly see it, but I can feel it a little bit there. But that's about it. I don't even know if you want to call that an imperfection. It's something that happened in uh, uh, in the construction of this vehicle. You know, I mean, it's just nothing to even. I shouldn't have even pointed it out because there's not enough there to even point it out. Okay, the drip rail molding. Same as the other side, absolutely flawless. Quarter to door, same as the other side. There's absolutely no overhang, nothing to be adjusted. The wipes, whiskers, whatever you want to call them, the same way as the other side. Absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing. Again, optional passenger side, uh, rear view mirror. Door, same things, no imperfections whatsoever, absolutely none. Absolutely not. Correct antenna, oval shaped, the way it's supposed to be, rally sport designation. Wheel lip in the front, <clears throat> side marker. Again, back up front to the Z28 with the flawless bumper fitment. This car, I just went over this entire car like I do all the uh, presentations that we do. I couldn't find anything. There's not even a minute deviation on anything on this car. Camaros are kind of a, there are a lot of them out there. They're a popular car. Everyone wants a Camaro. Uh, everyone wants to drive a Camaro. A lot of them like big blocks. A lot of them like small blocks because of the handling characteristics. A Z28 is a very special, special Camaro. It's a very iconic car. They only ever produced them for really racing four years, uh, 67, 8, 9, and 70. 68 and 69 were the most popular years. Um, in, 60, in 19, the late 60s and in 68, this particular car would have probably been campaigned by um, uh, Mark Donahue, would have been driving the car, it would have been prepared by Penske Racing. Uh, Smokey Eunuch also fielded one of these cars. All four manufacturers in the late 60s went head, in, head, head first into the uh, racing program for Trans Am Racing. Uh, it was one of the most popular series being watched on television at that point of time. Uh, AMC fielded a car, so did GM in the uh, Z28 Camaro. Ford had a Boss 302. Um, Chrysler had there a couple of e-body cars, you know, the uh, Cuda and the Challenger. Of course, there was a Firebird thrown in there, too. Uh, but all the four manufacturers were very competitive in this. They, you know, they were trying to sell cars. and raced in one on the weekend, sold cars on Monday. And that was the uh, logic that they used, and it actually did work. Very few of these cars were produced. What you see here is the way General Motors released this car for race prep, uh, race uh, um, to be prepared for the race car. It was the very basis for that race preparation. Um, they came with a 302 V8 engine, like I stated, with a solid lifter cam, a lot of high performance goodies inside this motor. So it was basically a race car for the street. Very few of these cars out there. This one is a correct number car. It has never been molested in any way. The car is as new as you will ever find a representation of a 1968 MO code Z28 Camaro with this many options on it. And it's available here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. You've got to look at this car. 
Hi, we're inside a 1968 Z28 Camaro. New as when it left the factory in 1968. Uh, this car has absolutely, we went over the entire outside. We're going to show you an undercarriage uh, video of it shortly. This car had absolutely no imperfections. It's one of the nicest cars I've ever seen in my entire life, the way it's been done, to the nth degree. When I say tight as a drum, that's the headliner. No marks whatsoever on the uh, padded dash on this car. The correct steering wheel for this, another option I forgot to mention. How about a tilt wheel? You could get options on these E28s, but not power options. You got power brakes, power steering, which this particular car has. Was not available with an automatic, was not available with air conditioning. This is what you got with it. You got a four speed transmission in it. And it came with an M22 rock crusher is what this car came with. The interior is, is very spartan, basic seats, carpeting, no console, grab rail on the dashboard, original uh, sun visors on it, the hat rack is just as new, back seats match the front, door panels are absolutely flawless, just like the rest of this vehicle. There's no cracks in the steering wheel, no imperfections in it. The dash is crystal clear has a speedometer, some idiot lights, and a gas gauge. You, you wanted to race, you put your own tachometer in it. You put your own sun tack or Stuart Warner tack on a column, and that's what guys did with these. Again, the door panels are flawless. The hardware on them, your, your openers and your uh, window cranks are just as shiny, as nice as can be. There's no imperfections on the uh, uh, armrests on either door. Bright trim around the gas brake and uh, clutch pedal and parking brake cable is still all nice and clean and clear. Disc brake uh, designation on the uh, brake pedal, of course. This car is as new on the inside as what we showed you on the outside. There is absolutely nothing that I can tell you that's out of place in this vehicle. There's not one thing that isn't shiny or as it was when it left the factory in 1968 as a new 68 uh, Z28 Camaro. This is a car that you really, really need to look at at our Hangsters website. This is a very rare piece of equipment here. You're buying a piece of history, a real piece of history here. Okay, you see gas gauge working. Speedometer is going to be working here in a second. Yeah, you can see it going up. No problem. Right turn signal. Left turn signal, tilt wheel, oh, right turn signal, we're turning right, we'll be able to use it. Power brakes are astronomical on this car. Very, very strong brakes. They use a Corvette uh, uh, set of uh, calipers on this thing. That's why it works so well. Goes down the road straight as can be. Got the hands. Let's try stopping that hand and see what happens. Same thing. Stop straight as can be. Nice as you want.
nice car. Nice straight car. Really nice car. Very responsive steering. Quick ratio steering and lazy 28 out of it. Great car, absolutely fantastic car. This little baby motor's out there just twisting its little heart out. Great Trans Am series car. We're limited to 305 cubic inches. And this one had 302. Hi, you're in Daytona Beach, and we're underneath our 1968 Real MO Z28 Camaro. At Hangsters, we always try to bring you the very best that we can of every representation of a muscle car. And occasionally we have some that come through that are so over the top, overdone to the nth degree, and this is one of those vehicles. And we're going to take a little bit of time and just show you how much originality has been retained in this vehicle from when it was new. Everything has been addressed back to as original condition. There are no improvements on it, there are no modifications to this vehicle in any way, mechanically or aesthetically, nothing. Clean down to the original type Goodyear polyglass bias ply tires that came with this thing. Even as far as if you look, all natural metal, nothing's painted, it's an uh, Argent uh, type steering gear, tie rod ends, brake calipers, Everything on this car is just the way it would have come in 1968. Absolutely nothing modified. The entire car was a total rotisserie restoration on a total rust-free body. This car is, again, as absolutely the way it was in 1968 when it left the factory. So let's go over a few of the components on it. Things you can't really see from the video, but the springs themselves are Argent finished. Just natural steel the way they would have been from the factory. The backing plates, the uh, calipers, everything all original, bare metal, not painted, no one spray canned anything. The original gray style, the original equipment shocks that came on this particular vehicle. The sway bar, heavy duty sway bar from the, uh, from the factory. The original MO motor that was foreign in this car. Fender wells. Painted uh, semi-flat black, just as they would have been from the factory. Brake rotors, absolutely perfect. Not even deteriorated from a little tiny bit of surface rust. Nothing. Backing plates, still silver, just the way they would have been from the factory. Absolutely, totally undisrupted. Everything is new. Tie rod ends, uh, pitman arm, steering box, which is a quick ratio steering box on this particular vehicle. Bell housing is totally intact. The uh, uh, pan is still in the front of this one. No one's removed this because it would it would uh, change from the originality of this vehicle. Subframes, absolutely as perfect as they were the day it left the factory. No marks, no dings, no scrapes. Absolutely none. Uh, cadmium plated springs, cadmium plated uh, shifting fork for the uh, um, throw out bearing for the transmission. The engine block is just detailed to the nth degree. All the paint just the way it should be. Chevrolet orange. M22 rock crusher transmission with the correct reverse uh, light setup on it also. The correct shift rods. Even has the, uh, the paint markings on the uh, shift rods from the factory the way it would have come. Functional parking brake assembly on this vehicle. No subframe connectors. They didn't come with them. They didn't put them on. It would... Uh, uh, change the originality of this vehicle. Every bushing, every rubber piece on this thing is brand new, not polyurethane rubber, just the way it would have come in 1968. Standard cast iron exhaust manifolds on this car. Transition into two and eighth inch aluminized pipes, just the way it would have come from the factory, with the crushed centers, just the way they came from the factory. Original type exhaust system, not just a made up one. Again, parking brake assembly, absolutely brand new and functional. Brake lines, just the way they came from the factory, all brand new and shiny. Fuel line, original equipment type fuel line. They still have the, the brake lines and the fuel lines still have the little paper tabs around them yet, the way they would have come shipped from General Motors at that point in time. Floor pans, absolutely undisrupted. 
There's not a mark, not a single weld mark, uh, absolutely nothing under this vehicle. Uh, original pinch welds where the floor pans go onto the rocker panels where they're pinch welded together. Every one of them is clean and clear and evident just the way it was when it left the factory. Argent colored uh, drive shaft in this particular car. New, well, new uh, universal joints, that, <laughs> that kind of goes without saying on this thing. Uh, there's absolutely nothing that I can tell you that is different from 1968 when this car left the factory. Everything is done to the nth degree to duplicate the originality of this car the way it was produced by General Motors in 1968 as an MOZ28 Camaro. Let's see what's on the second half, but I'm guaranteeing it's going to be just as nice as the front half. I don't see anything on this vehicle that isn't representative of a 1968 brand new um, Chevrolet Camaro. Gas tank, again, brand new uh, gas tank in this vehicle, unpainted, no one's messed with it. Rear spring hangers the same way, they're unpainted the way they would have been from the factory. This car is as nice a vehicle as I've ever seen in my entire life. Occasionally you run across them where there's somebody had a labor of love to bring a car back to its originality and that's what you have here. You have a real Emma, numbers correct, in every way, Z28 Camaro that's not only aesthetically pleasing on top and interior wise, but you have the same degree of perfection underneath this vehicle. You'll see some still photos and you're never going to believe how perfect this car is. And I very, very seldom use that term perfect, but this is as near to perfection for a 68 Camaro that you could ever attain. And it's here at Hangster, so you've got to look at this guy.